गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट अनबैलेंस so fun balance and number 3 so i will start with these three topics then we will discuss other topics also so let us start with what is unbalance unbalance means that there is more weight on one side of the disc for example now this is a disc here and you can see here that when i change the position it is coming this point is coming down side all the time when i change the position of this disc this point is coming down side so this is the heavy side this is the heavy side and uh, what will happen when this machine will run when this machine will run it will be pulled by centrifugal force and when this disc will be pulled then there will be friction inside the bearing there will be more friction inside the bearing because bearing is the bearing is the machine element which is holding the shaft and it will be it will be it will have it will be holding the shaft when there is more force on it and when there is more force on it there will be friction plus there will be vibrations there can be sound and it will consume more energy the machine will consume more energy if it is a electric motor it you will it will take more electric current it and same thing is about other machines they will consume more energy because of unbalance and then there will be sound also and due to vibration the internal parts of the machine can touch the casing and the machine can be damaged so we don't want unbalance in the machines so you can see here that when i move this disc this heavy side is coming down side this is called static unbalance i can balance without 
running the machine in this case. What I will do is that I will just change the position and I will see because this point is coming downside, so it is the heavy side. So I will fix the weight opposite to it. See? When I will fix the weight opposite to it, now it is balanced. Now if I change the position of this disc, it is not changing its position because uh, now the weight is uniform, weight is same same around this disc, now it is balanced. So for balancing I have to put weight opposite to the heavy side at some distance from the rotating center line. So this is the heavy side so I have to put the weight or mass opposite to it and I should know how much weight I should put so it means that for balancing I need two things one is the weight how much mass or weight and and the angle I should fix it opposite to the heavy side Okay. Now the other thing is that how we can measure the amount of unbalance. You can see here that when I move this to this side it is no longer balanced. That this is the heavy side, it will come downside. And when I put this weight to this side, it becomes balanced. So it means that the, when the distance is increased, when the distance of this weight is increased from the rotating center line, this side becomes more heavy. This side will become more heavy. I can also increase the, 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 I mean the unbalance on this side by putting more weight, by putting more weight here, you see here, I put here more weight and this become unbalanced, before it was balanced but when I add weight here it becomes more heavy. So it means that there are two things which affect the balance of the disc. One is how much is this weight and the other thing is how much is the distance from the center of this mass to the center of the rotating line. So we can measure the amount of unbalance by multiplying this mass with the distance from center of this weight to the center of the rotation. For example, if this is 5 gram weight and the distance is for example 10 centimeter, the distance is 10 centimeter and mass is 5 gram so it will the unbalance will be 50 gram centimeter 50 gram centimeter in the same way if i increase the mass okay now it becomes for example 10 gram and now its distance from here to here is 5 cm. Again it is balanced. Again it is balanced. This is 10 gram and this distance is 
5 cm. So 10 gram multiplied by 5 cm is again 50 gram centimeter. So amount of unbalance is uh, measured by multiplying the amount of mass into its distance from the rotating center line. This is the distance, this is the distance and this is the mass. So unbalanced means that there is more mass on one side or we can say that mass center line and rotating center line are not same or mass, mass center or rotating center are not same same. So for, uh, for machine to be balanced the mass center and rotating center should be same. What is mass center? Mass center is that point where all the weight of the uh, all the weight is acting. That is called mass center. So this was about unbalance. What is unbalance? And also I told you what is static unbalance. Static unbalance happens when the thickness of the rotor is small and in this case you can balance without running the machine. You just fix it in two bearings and you just fix it in the fix it in the, the shaft in the bearing and the heavy side will come down. Just uh, change its position. If it will stay, if it will stay like this, it means it is balanced. But if it is not staying like this, it is coming down. Then it means it is unbalanced. Now I will, because this is heavy side, I will put it more weight here. Okay, or I just put it, increase the distance. Now it is balanced because any point I go. It will stay here because the weight is uniform. So this was about unbalanced. What is unbalanced? And I also I told you that we don't want unbalanced in the machine because it will create force when the machine will be running, when the rotor is running, there will be a force which will be pulling the disc outward and this force is called centrifugal force and what will happen? The bearing will, the bearing will be damaged because all the force is coming to the bearing bearing is holding the shaft of the machine and all the force is coming to bearing there will be more friction it will take more energy there will be noise sound and uh, rubbing action may happen because it is vibrating so the rotor can touch the casing and it can be damaged the machine life will become short Okay, so this was about static unbalance. Now I will tell you about two different types of unbalance that are called dynamic and couple unbalance. So I will explain you about dynamic and couple unbalance. Okay. Now what is dynamic and couple unbalance? 
I will explain to you. Now you can see here, this one is a rotor with, and its thickness is more, and its thickness is more. Now in case there are two equal and opposite weights, you can see here there is one weight here. Now there is one weight here. You can see there are two weights and they are these are two weights and they are equal and opposite to each other. One weight here and one weight on the opposite sides. In this case it is called couple and paras. Two equal and opposite weights. They are in two different planes and these pl planes are away from each other. Now if these two weights are not equal or not opposite to each other, then it is called dynamic unbalance. Now it is a dynamic unbalance or you can see here, now this weight is different, this weight is not same same as this and there is another weight here. So this is called dynamic unbalance. Most of the time in the plant you will see dynamic unbalance. So that was all about couple and dynamic unbalance. So this, this, what I have told you, that is our first part of unbalance. And in this lesson, in this uh, lesson, which I will say, this is lesson number one <coughs> today. Today I will call this as lesson number one. We learned what is unbalance. We also learned different types of unbalance. And we also learned how unbalanced is measured. So, what is unbalance? Unbalance means that there is more weight on one side of the rotor or disc. The weight is not uniform around the disc or you can say 
mass center and rotating center are not same. In, if that this thickness is small, it is called static unbalance. And in case of static unbalance, you can make balancing without running the machine. You can fix the disc in the bearing. So heavy part will come down and you will fix the correction weight opposite to the heavy spot or heavy side. So it means that you need two things. One is correction angle and the other thing is how much weight or mass you will fix. That is called correction weight. So for balancing we should know the correction weight and also we should know the correction angle and of course we should also know the distance from the rotating center line at which distance we should fix it at which distance the mass or weight should be fixed from the rotating center the radius of the mass which you are fixing then how unbalanced is measured? Now, unbalanced is measured by multiplying the unbalanced mass with its distance from the rotating center. Now, if the mass is 5 gram and its distance is 10 centimeter from the rotating center then amount of unbalance is 50 gram centimeter or otherwise if the mass is 10 gram and its distance is 5 centimeter from the rotating center again the unbalance will be same 50 gram centimeter now amount of unbalance remains same. The speed will not change the amount of unbalance. But when, we, when the machine is running and the speed increases, the centrifugal force will increase and the amplitude of vibration will also increase. So, Amplitude of vibration will increase when the speed will increase. So uh, it will not be uh, it unbalanced. We will we should say that effect of unbalance, which uh, which we see in in the by amplitude, which we see by amplitude of vibration. So amplitude means amount of vibration, and amount of vibration will increase when the speed of the machine is increasing. But unbalance remains same. So that was something basic about uh, unbalance. Thank you very much.